Hey guys, Josh here. I uh, thought I'd show off some cool stuff I'm doing with my new Windows 8 tablet and my guitar and my amplifier. Um, and uh, what's really cool about some of this stuff. So real quick, I'm just going to switch the camera around here and try to show you some of the cool stuff I can do. Alright, so here we go. Um, uh, you've probably already seen I've got a uh, basic electric guitar, I've got a Squire Telecaster here, um, and down here I've got that wired up into a, uh, there's my guitar, uh, wired into my uh, Fender Superchamp X2 amplifier that's got a built-in USB interface. Um, if you can watch carefully, I'm snaking as a wire that snakes away from the back of the amplifier up the back of my music stand here. Uh, I've got it going into a USB input of my Samsung Ativ Smart PC uh, running Windows 8. And just as a reminder, I've talked about this before, um, but Windows 8 tablets are cool because I get the new Windows interface, but I also get the familiar Windows 7 interface. And that means I can run all the classic Windows 7 applications. Uh, and in particular, Fender makes one called Fender Fuse for all of its USB-enabled amplifiers. And I can do some really cool stuff like this. So let me zoom in here. Now one thing to notice uh, as I zoom in a bit and it focuses is I'm still touch enabled here. So I can move the dial. You saw that move. It's hard to hold the camera and actually operate the touch here. Um, but I can move the dials here and I'm controlling an amplifier. And what the software does is it makes my real amplifier sound like any modeled amplifier that the software can emulate. So here I've got a preset loaded called Gretsch Rockabilly. It may be hard to read if it's not focusing. And so I've got a, a nice rockabilly sound. And again, hard to hold the camera and play anything more advanced for you right now. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out, and the point of this real short video is the great opportunity that um, app makers have, not just of new apps, but of the existing Windows applications, is to take advantage of uh, better touch capabilities. Right. So here is a perfect example. This part of the application is trying to emulate the knobs on my real amplifier. So quickly, without trying to make it too dizzy here, I'm going to go down to the amp. And you'll see I've got some knobs here. One of them controls the various voicings I can apply. And that same exact knob is modeled here in the software. And just like I can do it on the amplifier, I can control that knob here. Now, what you're going to find as I do this is this application, although it looks like it should be great for touch, was really designed for a mouse and a keyboard. And so it works a little better when I use the pen, where I can be more precise. But here's a great opportunity for an app that's screaming to be optimized for touch for these uh, you know, existing usage models. And I, you know, I, I hope uh, app developers and software vendors really jump on this great opportunity, because this is just a killer app for guitar players uh, who have Fender equipment. And I'm really excited about it. I've been playing around with it a lot. Uh, but what's really cool about it is I can run it on my Windows 8 tablet because it's got an Intel Atom processor. It just runs all the existing Windows 7 software. So I don't need to get any new software. I get all the Fender Fuse community stuff. Um, so it's pretty exciting. Um, so check it out. It's pretty cool stuff. It's Fender Fuse software, uh, Intel tablets with Windows 8. And I'm Josh. So uh, hope, hope this was helpful. See you later.